right. This is the uh, We Beat Sinji Tonight Club. Period, period, period. But we got to get into this game. Suit 9 Super Pie actually going Wario. Definitely has a Wario. We've actually seen the Wario at other points of the tournament tonight. But uh, it's very curious that we're seeing it now against the Ness. Never mind. I just realized John Numbers plays Wii Fit, hates Ness. Like, it is literally the only matchup right now that he would just play Wii Fit. It is un. Bearable. The way that Ness just freaking counters every single one of uh, Wii Fit's, you know, good attributes, I can 100% see why Nine Super Pi is going the, 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 the Wario here. And we've actually seen a similar situation like this where, you know, John Numbers actually lost Syrup at a Xenosaga a, maybe two months ago, if I remember He's correctly. yet to take a single set for Chris. For PK that Chris. do. Like, it's just one of those things where it's like, it, it's not worth the pain, it's not worth the heartache, it's not worth the trip to the hospital and the insane pilot. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, especially since Wario, you know, there's some nice things about him in the matchup. For one, I always feel like with Wario, you have to two-stock him in order to win. If you're ever both on your last stock, <laughs> what was that combo? He just brought it even. Tony Pajamas have been playing so beautifully, and then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, it's gone. This is a completely even game here. And that's exactly what they're trying to spell for this. And just wow. Look at the way that they're kind of just like trying to maneuver around each other. Like, I really like a lot of the situations that, although it's like a lot of the time, Tony Pajamas is essentially just whiffing. It's actually creating a lot of situations where they avoid situations like Wario Fair, Wario Nair, situations that can lead to very devastating things. Yeah, now one thing about this matchup is the fact that Ness's range is so much better than Wario's. Wario is seen really struggling to deal with Ness forward air, Ness back air, even Ness neutral air feels like it's something that he's struggling to deal with. And that was gorgeous. That was amazing. The edge guard there. I would not normally think of Wario as the kind of character who can really easily edge guard Ness. But as we just saw, no, it's definitely something that could be uh, that's in the cards. And now mm -hmm. if you're Tony Pajamas, that is a full waft you're facing down. You have to play perfectly. Even though you just took that stock, you have to play perfectly. Because if he gets one of those combo starters into waft, I mean, like, what, at 40% or so he would die? Oh, even earlier than that. I don't even know about that one. I think it's based on stage position. Oh, that too. Yeah. But uh, he's looking for it. Oh, that neutral air is looking mm -hmm. terrified. Only one of these two is at death percent right now. <laughs> Boom! And what? <laughs> um, uh, Mom, it's getting scary in here. <laughs> Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Mom, there's a big, scary Italian man. <gasps> the big, scary Italian man farted on me, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, stay where you are. I'm on my way. <laughs> I, I, it's looking like Nine Super High, Nine Super High, sorry, has to phone a friend. More specifically, their parents. Um, <laughs> um, but for sure... Um, we have to get back into that. Yeah, I mean, I, I also want to talk about the fact that Tony was just constantly air dodging away at that sort of diagonal angle, which makes sense because at that point, if you don't air dodge, you die to waft. You might as well try and go for it. But uh, Nine Super High was also just, you know, prepared to pay attention and punish him once he uh, got a little bit too comfortable doing it. Mm-hmm. You cannot say comfortable for too long because what it's looking like you know Tony Pajamas has not had the best of times just staying on ledge and very good on Super Nine on Nine Super Nine's heart sorry for just keeping Tony Pajamas at ledge Ooh, things are getting pretty rough here considering the fact that it felt like Ooh. he's dead he's, uh, he's dead what? what I'm shocked Tony made it back to the stage um can you explain to the, to the people what just happened? So, uh, Tony Pajamas, upbeat, he hit the bike because the bike extended the hitbox. It also hit Nine Super Pie. Nine Super Pie yeeted out of existence. And then somehow Tony Pajamas was close enough to the ledge that despite getting shortened from the contact, he was still able to make it back to the stage. Wow. Wow! <laughs> but for sure, that was just so good on... 
Tony Pajama's par and just trying to read a lot of these air options overshooting, trying to just make sure 9 Super Pi does not have any fun at all whatsoever trying to land. Just a little bit of reversal from Musa in that first stock too. It's not just trying to land, it's neutral, man. Like, you have to do so much careful outspacing on Ness just to find an opening, let alone a way to actually, you know, engineer a kill. Can we just mention, like, why Wario's up B is so inconsistent? Well, that, uh, uh, that one I blanked. That one I, I blanked. Did we push for No, we didn't push it. I don't even know what happened because they just... They just gracefully flew to their death. Not even flew, they just gracefully like this. All right. Um, and now if nine, does 9 Super Pi have WAP? Yes, he definitely does. Uh, he still has WAP. This is the sort of situation where, like, this is why I say you have to two-stock Wario. Because he can still get a WAP at this point and basically even up the game. But uh, even then he has to basically play wap and still take Tony Pajama's last stock. So this is, if you're Tony, Against most characters, you're very comfortable with a two-stock lead, but against Wario, you're kind of, at the very least, even. Absolutely. We've just been seeing, you know, Tony Pajamas keeping 9 Super Pi in these constant frame traps. Always, like, one second you thought you were out, but nope. Right there with those frame traps, but it's looking like... Didn't air dodge that time. You remember how he was air dodging before and dying for it? Tony Pajamas adapting, keeping himself alive, but... I mean, at this point, actually looking pretty good. A back throw at the ledge will probably take it. Down to 20? Oh, yeah, no, we're and starting to get... not only that, we, this is definitely not a situation where we're probably going to see the wafts come out. And the reason why I say that is because the more you're, like, when you're at, like, two-stock situations, you have to take off that first stock because then they're going to give you that one opening, that one tool that you need to really reverse that situation. The other option, though, is that you burn the waft to make sure that you take that first stock and then play really slow to make sure you get half waft. Because half waft can still kill really early, you know? And if you have the opportunity to kill with waft straight up, which also, um, one thing we didn't really see, I know that the bike was on the ground. Wario can waft the bike to extend the waft hitbox which is uh, really funny to see. <laughs> Just basically becomes uh, like a fart cloud lasting forever. You know, infinitely expanding fart cloud. Well, um, that's, that's imagery. Okay. <laughs> um, but for sure, we're already seeing Knights of at 93%. That's literally so crazy. How did we get here? Hello? Uh, I missed it, I think. Ness did think things to him. Many things. Many, many think things. Boning the mom wasn't one of them. I don't think so. No, he didn't. He is taking revenge on the on the strange man all by himself. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, oh. I can't believe he matched that. I understand why he went for those pummels. I feel like the last pummel, if he didn't get out of it, then he... <laughs> uh, what was uh, that? I mean, I think that... If he had waited like another five seconds, he would have had half wop. But that's actually really bad because it reset the wop counter. It's not going to be until about, I think, four minutes and five seconds that he's going to have full wop. Mm -hmm. It's just one of those things where not the right time, but. Oh. Good stuff. That could be risky, but. When it works, it works. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're back at the neutral, and you can see how Wario can kind of really struggle in it. Neutral air is one of his best combo starters. I mean, a <laughs> heck of a combo starter it is, though. And actually, I'm really impressed by the way that Nine Super Pi has been finding them, considering all of the projectiles that, or sorry, all the disjoints that Tony Pajamas is just more than willing to throw out. Absolutely. And the thing is, it, it's looking like it's absolutely so hard for Nine Super Pi. Ooh, really content. He didn't have a jump. He didn't have a jump. He didn't dab a but the boda? Uh uh. uh. <laughs> um and also because he burned that waft, you know, for the meaningless spark early on, he doesn't have waft for another um about 30 seconds. Or at least doesn't have full waft. Like right here, this might be in the position where, you know, full waft could kill. But in, like right there, full waft would have killed for sure. 
I mean, maybe he doesn't even need it. Oh, I don't think he's coming back from that. Can he hit that? He too framed him? Well, yeah. With the slap? Yeah. You could two frame with the slap. I know, but that's still like, that's like that, that. That was like they, they, they knew. Like, they. It's not even just like they, they wanted to time it correctly. They just knew. Like, it was. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so I think that means things are 1-1 one, one now between these two. Absolutely. And I'm going to be completely honest. This could end up actually being, you know, 9 Super Pies game. I don't know. I don't even, what, what, I'm going to be completely honest. The way that, you know, Tony Pajamas has been playing neutral has been so good because it, it just really works out in, in their favor. But also, Mario... Well, not only Wario, but it feels like that last game, Nine Super Pie was getting edge guards. He was getting edge guards consistently. His second to last stop, the last stop, both of them were edge guards. Uh, so the fact that that's something that he can probably rely on to be taking stocks, that's massive. He hasn't landed a waft once, and yet he still managed to take that game. Hello. Oh, wait, it's actually 2 1. I'm sorry, I forgot that. Nine Super Pie won a game there? Two games? It's been it's been a lot. Okay, so it's two one actually. Nine Super Pi. If he takes this next game, that's it. He moves on into losers finals, getting his chance at the run back against Amaryllis. And you wanna know something too? I don't know what it is about Nine Super Pi not liking Bayo entirely, like as Wario, because a lot of the time, like Wario, it's just one of the best characters, especially like just to deal with Bayo. I honestly feel like, like especially you know, to their, the way that they actually play, they play so patiently, especially in that matchup. You know, it's one of those things that I'm, I'm speaking a little bit too far ahead. I'm sorry. Anyways, back to the match. Um, well, you know, I mean, we might be, might have to think about that very soon because Nine Super Pie, you know, takes about 77 percent, but it looks like he's still doing pretty well. One neutraler can lead to huge damage. We've seen it time and time again. Dropping that combo, that's actually really important. That's pivotal. Normally, we've been like when that neutraler lands, it's been 60 plus percent. Boy is not gonna do it just entirely yet, but Waff. That was so oh, sad, but ooh, gonna Thank get you. that down smash and taking that. Was the ancient nerfs, I'm pretty sure that was uh, yeah. that back in the day, back in my day, that would have landed. But uh, nine super pie, not only is he now down to his last stock, but he's basically back at zero in terms of loft generation. Well, they're both back at zero now. Dead even, actually. Then again, super pie has won two games without needing loft. Okay, game one, he needed Bob with the air dodge read. But, like, for the most part, it feels like it's just been kind of not really a factor. It's just those edge guards. Edge guards, edge guards, edge guards. I really love how it's been feeling a little bit. Like, it's just in there until you get the hit. But, I mean, it, it, there is also, like, because if you just... The fact he's getting hits is important. Yeah, literally. The fact that he's, despite all of the neutral airs and aerials that Tony Pajamas is throwing out himself, that he's managing to find neutral airs in between the hits, leading to all of this damage. Oh, I think he... In that position, do you ever go for up B if you get the read? I don't think it'll kill, so you wouldn't. If you want to style, maybe. That's true. I mean, listen. Style really good. Also, I think half waft might be live now. Yep, half waft is live. Ooh, very nice. Trying to overshoot there, not gonna get it, and trying to just chomp away some, you know, health. Oh, that back air probably would have. I mean, that might have taken the entire game, but instead we're gonna be moving on to the the latter half of this game. And how would he live that? Wow, we're actually, you know, like two two right now. It's game crazy. five. We have uh, been having lots of game vibes. Yeah, love that. <laughs> we really do. You guys can't see our faces, but we know. <laughs> this is top six. We haven't had a single 3-0 in top six, I think. No. I think we maybe had one, like, 3-1. I, I think it was actually the 3-0 the set was the set that Amorilis played in Night Super Bio. Well, not, not in top six, but, like, 
That was technically top six when they played. Was that a 3 out? It was Because they didn't take him. Maybe. We'll have to check with our eye in the sky later. <laughs> or boots on the ground. I forget how it works. Anyway, this is game five between these two. We've seen them go back and forth. But now it all comes down to this final game. Who is going to be... Moving on, will uh, will Ninja Papai get his run back against Amaryllis, or will Tony Pajamas complete this fantastic run that he's been doing all night tonight? Oh, more up airs. Back air. Trying to go for this edge guard right here. And they're going to get it. Do it. Another beautiful edge guard from 9 Super Pie puts him in a massive lead here. This is 59%. And keep in mind, this is Wario. Meaning that if you even if you do manage to like bring him down to one stock apiece, which at this point that is gonna be kind of a tall order for Tony Pajamas, you're gonna have to worry about getting wafted. It's always a threat. It's always waiting for you at the end of the tunnel before you reach the light. Wait, isn't it supposed to be the the, the, the light before the tunnel or the tunnel before the light? It's the I light at the end of the tunnel. Before you get to the light at the end of the tunnel, there's a fat man farting on you. <laughs> uh, That's the saying. That's how the saying goes. I, dang. I, I, I might need to go back to high school. I don't know. Wow. I believe it's actually a, a, that's a Tennyson poem. A Tennyson who? A Tennyson. <laughs> Pro that is the proper response. Uh, Anyway, dash attacks are actually not killing. Wario's weight coming in clutch here. Tony Pajamas finally managing to take that stock, but already 42% on him. And we are reaching the point where within about nine seconds, I think, Swap Part 2 will be live. Or right now. I forgot. It's actually it's not two minutes exactly. It's like one minute and 56 seconds or something. He has, no, he has a jump. That Having that jump is actually so pivotal. It means that Tony is still alive. He might be able to actually even things up here if only if he manages to get back to stage. So can we talk about like just Wario back here? Yeah, I, I originally was like, oh, Ness just outranges Wario. But back air? <laughs> that literally uh, like kind of makes me question. You know something? Like, imagine getting hit by the back hit of someone. Like, they're not even facing you. They don't even know if it's hitting. And they're just hitting you with their hands, and then they pancake. He's, Hello? He's just doing a trust, a, a non-consensual trust fall <laughs> on you. <laughs> he's like, you're going to catch me, right? Yeah. You're, you're going to catch me? Or are you going to die? I don't know. Ooh, but it's looking like... You know, Tony Pajamas are on their last legs here, and that dash attack is not going to take it. Only at 128%. And dash attack? No, up smash. Yo yo, goodbye. This is it. Game five. Last stock between these two, but there's one difference. That's a waft that Wario has in his belly. And if you're Tony Pajamas, you have to be so careful about it. I. Ooh, they lost their. Oh, God. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. He went over there? They flew. That's it. He's, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it back. He's forced to up B, and that's a waft right waiting for him. The, I can't believe it. That Wario up B normally sucks, but at that point, it sucked to, like, like I came out.